Hey there! Today I was in Amsterdam and I visited Ackermann, which is a fairly traditional fountain pen, writing instruments and ink shop uh, that has been around for quite a while and I bought some pens there in the past. Today I needed some Mont Blanc ink so I was in the neighborhood, I dropped by, bought the ink there and then I noticed that this shop has its own line of pens. A ballpoint, a fountain pen, you know me so of course I had a look at the fountain pen and I really liked it. It came in this nice little pouch which seems to be a Parker pouch if the logo's uh, any indication and well, that's fine, it'll fit any pen of a given size of course. Out comes the pen in nice and vibrant red. There were a number of colors, but I kind of like red. I think it's nice and fresh. Uh, I like the overall shape of the pen. It's fairly tapered, so it, it starts out wide with the cap, then it gets narrower, wider again. Same for the barrel, and then narrow again. So a nicely tapered design. I'll show you the parts of the pen. Uh, I'll tell you what I like and don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, so. It's a simple design. The name Ackermann is nowhere on, on the pen. Uh, the, the cap has a, a nice simple clip which is fairly tight so that will definitely keep your pen in place. It's unmarked um, which is fine. The cap just pops off. It's on there very securely. You really need to apply some force to open it which I like. You don't want the cap to fly off. The grip section uh, is all metal. It has a nice sort of staircase-like uh, deco there, which which I kind of enjoy, and a nice groove, which, which makes it look very decent. The nib is stainless steel. It says iridium point, and it has some minor details on it. It's not a particularly large nib. It's not particularly small. It's a medium-sized nib, I would say. Um, surprisingly smooth. I'll demonstrate that in the writing sample. Okay, so Grip section, all metal. Some people don't like that. They think it's a bit slippery. I've had no problems with it. Pleasant to hold. Uh, not the largest pen. So I was a bit disappointed when I saw that the cap didn't really seem to fit on. But in fact, all you need to do is apply a bit of pressure and the cap will fit on the pen to post it and it will fit very snugly. So no problem whatsoever and then the pen is absolutely great to hold. Okay, uh, the pen came with a cartridge standard international cartridge. Um, I threw it out and I just used a Monteverde converter, which is a small converter. It's not the biggest pen in the world, but as you can see it fits nicely. Um, and it fits very snugly on the nipple and the feed. So that's a good thing. Simple thing. The entire pen is made out of metal, which I like. I like heavier pens. It weighs a good 30 grams, which for a pen of this size is not at all bad. So that's a nice thing. Okay, metal cap. I think it has some plastic on the inside, but it's a metal cap. Metal barrel, nice little ring there. Pleasant to hold. So, what I like about it is this nicely tapered shape. It's well balanced. I cannot say, I mean, it's, it's a really well balanced pen. The nib, very smooth. This was a pen that cost me about 25 euros, which is not particularly much when you're dealing with fountain pens, and yet a very smooth nib. Pleasantly surprised. One thing about it I don't particularly like, and that is the fact that this last, this final tier on the barrel has a fairly sharp edge, and I'm one of those persons who tends to hold their pens a bit high, so I won't hold it like this, I'll hold it like that. And that means that this final little tear will actually cut into your skin, and uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it will actually leave some marks. Um, clearly it's not going to cut into your skin and make it bleed, but I think that could be a bit smoother. Now, this is nitpicking, because it's a nice pen, and I, I don't, I, this hasn't ruined the experience for me. I just have to be like a normal person and hold the pens as it was supposed to be held. And if I do that, it's no problem. So, I like the pen. Postable, writes smoothly, nice weight, a good pen. Pleasantly surprised. So, if you have in Amsterdam, visit Ackermann, get one of these pens. Okay, writing samples up next. That's all there's to it. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, writing with the Ackermann fountain pen.
the nib, I would, well, I would call it something between a fine and a medium. I'll come back to that in a second. The ink here is Mont Blanc Midnight Blue, which is actually an iron gall ink. I was surprised when I read that in the little manual that came with the ink. Um, although this is a very nice blue-black color, it is iron gall, which means you have to be careful with it, and at the very least clean your pen very well after use. Because iron gall ink, this is actually what was used in the Middle Ages with the, the, the quills. Um, it's a very nice ink, and something that I like about it, I'll show you that, is that it is pretty water resistant. Uh, but the downside to that is that it will actually clog your feed, so be a little careful with that. Now this is Mont Blanc, so I'm expecting this ink to be a very high quality, but just so you know. Okay, let's do some writing with the pen. Keep an eye out on the water bubble here to see how this is uh, progressing. So, writing is very smooth. I was pleasantly surprised. It's a steel nib, not gold, and yet it's not even gold plated, and yet it is a very smooth writing performance. So, pleasantly surprised. I was also surprised by the amount of flexibility offered by the nib. Again, bear in mind that this is not a gold nib, or it's, it's just a stainless steel nib. And yet, it opens up quite significantly. See that? There's quite a significant amount of line variation there, which is really nice. I was, I was surprised. So, very good thing. Then maybe we should do some fast writing, just to see how well the feed keeps up. As you can see, there's no problem whatsoever. There was a little skipping there, but the nib was a little dry. That's what happens. And don't forget, I'd just been using quite a lot of, a lot of ink there. So that looks very good. Um, no problems there. I think this is a very, very nice pen, especially considering the price. I think this is a very nice pen, and I would really recommend it. It lays down a nice amount of ink. Uh, as I said, the nib seems to be somewhat, well, fine, I, I guess. Some, something between fine and, and medium. Um, but because it offers a little bit of flex, something in between. Okay, uh, just a, a quick look at this ink. It's just an ink cloth. It wipes out a little bit, but as you can see, the ink is still very clearly legible. So this is indeed a very nice ink if you're looking for a, a waterproof ink. Okay, so... That was my review of this pen. I hope this was useful. I thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you later.